Today is the 31st Sunday of the year. The Gospel for today is Mark chapter 12, verses 28 through 34. Mark's account of a scribe who asks Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? What is the first commandment? A common question debated by scholars and teachers in the time of Jesus. Jesus, first of all, quotes from the Shema. Shema gets its name from the first word of a prayer that is said daily, even to this day, by Jews. Listen or hear. It can also mean obey, which is an interesting connection. The interdependence of listening and hearing with genuine obedience in the biblical sense. But that's for another reflection. I'd like to focus our reflection here on those first words of the Shema. Hear, O Israel, I am the Lord your God. In 1987, an Aboriginal elder from the Daly River, a lady by the name of Miriam Ungenmer Borman, went to Tasmania to address a liturgy conference. I'm going to quote from the first words of her text. What I want to talk about today is another special quality of my people. I believe it is the most important. It is perhaps the greatest gift we can give to our fellow Australians. In our language, this quality is called dadiri. It is inner, deep listening and quiet, still awareness. Dadiri recognises the deep spring that is inside us. We call on it and it calls to us. This this is the gift that Australia is thirsting for. When I experience Dadiri, I am made whole again. I can sit on the riverbank, walk through the trees. Even if someone close to me has passed away, I can find peace in this silent awareness. There is no need for words. The Shema calls the faithful Jew and us in the words of Jesus to hear, to listen, to be attentive, to become aware at a deep level. It is too easy for us in our busy lives, especially in the cities of our Western world, to pass over the surface of life not pay attention, not hear. It's not just a matter of hearing the scriptures or hearing theology or hearing something else that Jesus has taught. It's a matter of hearing what is going on within ourselves. God is with us. God speaks to us through experience. Coupled with the call to hear and listen, is a statement that we could easily pass over because we're not listening. I am the Lord your God. Throughout the Hebrew scriptures, that phrase is like a mnemonic, a reminder. The word that is used here, Yahweh, is also used on Mount Sinai in the Theophany with Moses. When you see the phrase in the Hebrew scriptures, I am the Lord your God, it is a reminder of the covenant and the great exodus event and the promise of God to be with us. God is love. God has entered our world. Infinite love is with us everywhere, all the time, in all circumstances through our experience of life. 
if only we hear. Have you heard with the depths of your mind, your heart, your soul, with all your strength? We ought not rush off, as it were, in the face of Jesus' response to the scribe, and think, oh, well, I've got to go out and love people with all my heart and all my soul. This is why it's important to address the Shema, what Jesus has quoted to the scribe here. Hear what God has done. Hear what God is doing. Hear what God intends. Feel yourself loved into freedom. The English Benedictine sister, Maria Bolding, sums it up beautifully, concisely. Like Jesus, she says, you have to listen and listen. It will take you all your life to hear the Father's love for you. Indeed, it will take you all your eternity.